In this video I will tell you about top 10 movies that leaked before they were released if you like the video subscribe my channel. At number 10. The Revenant. The film tells the semi-autobiographical story of Hugh Glass, a 19th century fur tradesman who is abandoned after his cohorts believed he was killed by a bear. He then attempts to make it through the wilderness alone. A screener for Academy Award consideration was leaked on December 20, 2015, just a few days before the film's limited Christmas Day release. Along with the Peanuts movie, this leak was traced to a man named Kyle Moriarty from Lancaster. At number 9. Fury. Fury was a good fit for action writer director David Ayer, who set out to tell a nuanced, realistic story about soldiers in Wii, and he definitely succeeded. Though it didn't make the same impact as Air's latest flick, Suicide Squad, Fury did very well at the box office. However, the studio believed it could have been an even bigger hit, had it not been a victim of the Guardians of Peace hack on Sony Pictures Entertainment. And while that may very well be true, the film fared far better than any of the others that were released that day. Apparently, a lot of people still prefer to see Brad Pitt's ABS on a giant screen. At number 8. Joy. Joy, about the woman who invented, among other things, the miracle mop. While there was a lot of early hype surrounding the flick, it received middling reviews, earning a 66% on Rotten Tomatoes. However, once someone becomes an Academy darling, they rarely leave the nest, and Jla was once again nominated for her role in a Russell production. Another Christmas Day flick, Joy was one of films released at the same time as The Revenant, but was attributed to Hive CM8 a piracy group that threatened to release more titles before backtracking and apologizing. At number 7. The Hurt Locker. The war film about a bomb disposal squad in Iraq made Catherine Bigelow the first female director to win both the Best Picture and Best Director Oscars, not just together, but individually as well. It premiered at the Venice International Film Festival in 2008, but didn't make it to the States until the following year so it was honored at the 2010 Academy Awards likely due to the overseas release. A pirated version of the film leaked five months prior to its U.S. premiere. However, unlike many of the movies on this list, The Hurt Locker's box office numbers were impacted, making only $48 million worldwide. At number 6. Zero Dark Thirty. Zero Dark Thirty followed Maya, a CIA analyst as she worked to hunt down Osama bin Laden in the years following 9-11, all the way up to his, spoiler alert, eventual capture in 2011. Tackling such a heavy issue that occurred over a long period of time is a feat in and of itself. It must have been even more difficult considering the script was originally based around an earlier, unsuccessful raid in attempt to capture bin Laden but was completely retooled and turned around in less than two years after the news broke of his death. The film went on to collect five Oscar nominations and four Golden Globe ones, and was number one at the box office the weekend of its wide release. At number five. Still Alice. Another victim of the Sony Pictures leak was Still Alice, an indie with award show buzz that premiered at TIFF two years ago. Starring Julie and Moore. The drama follows the titular character through her diagnosis of early-onset Alzheimer's and the progression of the disease, as well as how it affects her family and those around her. The film was critically well-received, specifically Moore's performance, which earned her the Best Actress Oscar at the 2015 Academy Awards in addition to Golden Globe, BAFTA, SAG, and Critics' Choice Awards in the same category. On November 27, 2014, the anticipated film, along with a number of others on this list, was leaked onto the internet, about a week before its general U.S. release. At number 4. The Expendables 3. When a film leaks online early, especially a high-quality copy, it will likely always have some impact. But when it's a big-budget sequel, that's bound to hurt. As the third installment in the Sylvester Stallone-helmed franchise, The Expendables 3, 
was the first to have a PG-13 rating, and the violence was toned down a bit. While this, paired with the fact that the same formula tends to get old to audiences, may have hurt the box office numbers, another major reason was the film's leak, which occurred almost a month prior to its in-theaters release. At number 3. The Hateful Eight. While January seems to be the most popular time for screeners to leak, December is also a dangerous one for the most anticipated of flicks. Quentin Tarantino's latest film, The Hateful Eight, had a limited Christmas Day release last year, but many got to see it for free online at least a few days early. This title was just the most notable of the many leaked, with the other movies in question, including Straight Outta Compton and Creed at least meeting the same fate post-release. At number 2. X-Men Origins Wolverine. The X-Men film series has made a few missteps. However, none hits fanboy buttons quite like X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Meant to be the first in a series of X-Men prequels, everything about the project was wrought with conflict, from filming schedules to the script's late completion to studio director tension. This alone is enough to make someone not sign on for more. But what took the cake for this particular feature was something else entirely. More than a month out from its US release date, a supposedly unfinished version of the film was leaked online. At number 1. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Scythe. Just hours before the film's US and UK releases, while many were likely already standing in line. A work print was uploaded to the internet, and downloaded at least 16,000 times. Due to the high-profile nature of the flick, an investigation began, and the U.S. Attorney's Office determined that the copy was stolen by an employee at a post-production facility, and eventually ended up in the hands of Huntington Beach resident Mark Hoagland, who was responsible for sharing it illegally. Hoagland pled guilty, and faced up to three years in prison. Oh, the things nerds will do to get their Star Wars. If you like the video subscribe my channel and like. If you have any suggest please leave in the comment.